Has there been an increase in pedestrian bike traffic on Speedway after midnight, and have patrols on Speedway after midnight been increased? Yes, they have. I have been out there the last few nights, and it doesn't look any busier than normal to me. That's just my opinion. And I certainly haven't been getting any complaints. Are people now sleeping on beach area walk streets and east of Pacific, and how are these areas being policed? And are propositions against sleeping in these areas being enforced? Yes, they are. If we get a radio call that somebody is on the sidewalk or in the street camping, we will address it and ask them to leave the area. And mostly we are getting full compliance in this. If individuals are on private property and there's a trespass letter on file and signs are posted, they will be arrested for trespassing. Again, we are getting a lot of compliance, though. At the last neighborhood council meeting, they were uncertain about dog walking because dogs are allowed in the park area between Halloween and Memorial Day. And the lieutenant wasn't sure how that was going to be enforced. I do know that they are seeking the advice of the police council before they make any more decisions on that. Hopefully I've answered those questions. Thank you. That was very helpful. All right, board, do you have any questions? Mariana. Just really quickly, have any increased patrol of 3rd Street between Rose and Sunset been looked at? Because I travel there every night coming home from the gym, and it just looks horrendous. It looks like there's like 30 people. I mean, I'm not counting or anything, but it looks like there's a ton of people out on 3rd Street all over the place. And, I mean, has any outreach been done in that area, or can we get some outreach in that area? Because there certainly are a lot of people out there. Yes. As Lisa Green addressed a few minutes ago, it is an issue. I have noticed a lot of people have gone over to 3rd Avenue. And, yes, we continue to take our clergy council and our outreach people out there. And that's our main focus is to get them help and move them along into housing. Thank you. Any other questions from the board? Okay, I have no speaker. Just real quick, Daffodil asked us to explain about our patrol missions real quick, and Sergeant Skinner is better at that. I'm getting used to that. Yeah. Our patrol missions, every day, I just want to kind of give you guys an idea of how we come to doing our patrols. Every morning at 9 o'clock, we meet with our CAD unit, our crime analysis detail. And, basically, it's based on the crime stats the week before on that Tuesday or the night before the meeting. And every morning they come up with, based on the crime stats, a new strategy for patrol officers to focus on. So if we're seeing an uptick in burglaries off of Abbott Kinney, that is their patrol mission, is Abbott Kinney Boulevard, the adjacent alleys, and the beginning of Abbott Kinney, which are busy areas between Venice and about Brooks. So that's how we come to some of these crime stats. And these are, you know, it's not just to throw the officers out there and let them handle radio calls. They have specific missions every day that they're given a new sheet of areas to concentrate on. And we do have eight areas in this division, so we have eight cars working at one time. And, like, the A11 car will focus specifically on what Officer Thusian's problems are, and the A13 car will work specifically on what my problems are. Now, because we're sister cars and we're pretty much west of Lincoln Boulevard, if I don't have a specific mission or she has an uptick in a certain area of certain crimes, then they'll focus in that area. So we just kind of wanted to give you an overview of how the police department kind of comes to where to put our officers. If you're not reporting your crimes, we don't know they're happening, so you're not going to get any officers out there. So we always encourage report. I know it's just a bike that you bought in 1979, and it's not worth anything, and it was rusted. But your neighbor's bike that got stolen next door, you know, we need to see where those dots are because that's where we're putting our officers to focus on. So kind of spread that word to your neighbors. And, you know, once again, locking your doors, not leaving stuff in your cars. We're still every day, we look at, we get reports every single day. Left their computer in the car. Left their iPod in the car. Left this in the car. And I get it. I do it too. We're all guilty of it. But people don't realize 
that you're going to become a victim until you become a victim and the stuff is gone. I had a guy break into a car that the Apple box, it was just the box in the car and they busted the window and the, to get an empty box because they thought the computer was in there. So now people are dealing with a broken window. So we just want to put that out there. We wanted to kind of give you guys an idea of how our police department works with the crime stats. So thank you. Thank you, Sergeant. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Very